Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Real Talk Podcast. I am your host, Jacob Rice, and as always, I am joined by the young Jared Kiddo. Hello, 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 hello. Yes. One more. Want to stick another hello in there? Yes, hello. Yeah. Uh, this is episode 15 yeah. of the Real Talk Podcast. Um, uh, we've seen, well, I've only seen one movie yeah. this week because I've been incredibly busy, and you've seen I have seen two. Godzilla and, and Rocketman. Yeah, so I've seen Godzilla. Um, I enjoyed it. We'll talk about this first. Uh, the reviews for those are out, out already. Uh, so you are Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all of those yeah. mediums. And uh, yeah, so we'll start with Rocketman because you've seen it and I haven't. Um, obviously, it tracks the story of uh, El- Elton. Elton John. Sir Elton John. Sir Elton John. Yes. And um, like he's a, we're, we're both pretty huge fans of him. So yeah, um, yeah let us know... Uh, how, how, how you felt so I really love the movie first of all I'm a huge fan of those biopics that follow the story of you know really influential people like I loved um, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody about Freddie Mercury but I do like in this one I do like in Rocketman how they do tell his story but they tell his story in a different way, in a way that you aren't going to feel like, oh, I've seen this before. Because they tell it through the... They tell it through his... Like, his eyes. through It's it's him telling the story. I'm not going to ruin it. I'm not going to ruin it for people who haven't seen it. But it is... It's, it is Elton John's movie. Because it, it's it's a fantastic... It, it's a... Um, it's a fantasy musical. It's a fantasy musical and all that kind of stuff. And it's very much the way... Elton John would picture his life through his eyes, through his imagination, and it is really well done. Is really well done, and on top of that, um, Taron Ed- Edgerton. Edgerton. Yeah. Ed- Edgerton. Yeah. Well, in the review, I, <laughs> I called him Troy. That's right. I fixed it before yeah, you release. Fixed it. <laughs> and um, honestly, like he did a fantastic job in the movie. He he sang all the songs. T- uh, he, he sang all the songs. He gave a hundred and ten percent into the role, and you could see, and you could definitely tell that he gave it. You could definitely tell that he was having fun, and he also had a ball. Like he had a ball. He put a hundred percent into it. He was the perfect choice for that role. Um, and on top of that, like just delving into Elton John's story, like there were things about him that I didn't even know that he did. Like I always thought of Elton John. Uh, for one, I didn't know Elton John didn't write his music. I thought he always wrote his own music. Apparently he he still has um, his songwriter writing his songs. Do they still work together today? Um, I don't know his name. I can't remember his name. He's a very famous songwriter. Um, and uh, it, it just, it shows just the, you know, the very typical what can happen, like what can happen like when money and all that kind of stuff can get to your head and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, you know, he had a problem with, you know, he was a shopaholic, alcoholic, he was a drug addict, sex addict, you know, all that kind of stuff. And after watching the movie, you kind of just, you feel so, you, know, you feel sorry for this guy. And, like, he's even said in interviews, like, I shouldn't be alive after all the stuff that he does. Like, he feels, like, incredibly blessed that he is still here and he's still making music. And, yeah, it, it is honestly one of the best movies I've seen so far throughout, like, yeah, it's one of the best movies I've seen throughout the year. Um, it's definitely one of those movies that... I don't know if you can take kids to go and see it. <laughs> um, because when I went to go see it, there was a family... I don't know if they couldn't get like a sitter or something like that. I'm assuming that's what happened. But it was a... They took their six-year-old kid with them. And there's a really intense sex scene in the movie. Aha! Uh-huh. Yeah, between two men. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> And the person that I went to go see it with, I said to him, I just, I said to him, I'm like, dude, what do you think that kid is saying to his parents right now? I was like, mom, dad, what was that man doing with the other man? He was wrestling. They, <laughs> they were wrestling. They were just wrestling. <laughs> they were just friends. <laughs> they were like, it's rated. You should know not to take your kid to a movie where there'll be any kind of sex scene. Like, I mean, granted, depending on how old the kid is, probably wouldn't even remember. I mean, my first ever movie. I feel like six is too old. <laughs> 
Or six, yeah, you probably, you probably... Simultaneously too old and not old enough to go and watch that movie. Yeah, I mean, like, the first movie I ever saw, technically, was Titanic, because my parents couldn't get a sitter. Well, that's not a sex scene. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a nothing. steamy... It, oh, it's no, a steamy there, car. There's, there's tits. <laughs> uh, yeah, and? <laughs> and? You've ever... Okay. Everyone's seen tits almost <laughs> from the immediate moment of birth. Hey, everyone's got them. <laughs> Well, that is also true. If everyone's got tits, some have more than others. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's a really good movie. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a very well done. I thought it was a very well done movie. So I really enjoyed it. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Uh, from uh, the uh, the Monster Queen to the King of Monsters, Godzilla. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. <laughs> I'm glad you liked it. Um. Godzilla. Godzilla, King of Monsters. Um, I, um, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I really did. Uh, I think it. we, I mean, we spoke about this last night when we went to watch it. You saw it again. I saw it for the first time. Yeah. Um, I think we, we gave it two and a half stars. Yeah. Well, you gave it two well, and a half stars yeah. in your review. Um, which I think last night we came to the conclusion that two and a half stars was a fair rating because mm. it's a two and a half star movie, but a four star monster movie. Yeah. I mean... It's definitely one of those movies that if you are a fan of the Godzilla kaiju, or in this case, and now that they're calling them the Titans universe, um, then you'll, you will definitely enjoy it because you actually know what's going on. Throughout the movie, there are subtle Easter eggs that will make all kaiju fans just cream in their pants. Like It will make them just go super excited. Like When I, first, when I went to go see it for the first time, they dropped it, like when they dropped like a couple of Easter eggs, some were a few on the nose. Yeah. But it made me happy. It's like, ah, they're, they're sticking to the source material. That's good. Um, and I do like that... Uh, I do like that they show off, like, a lot... They they do show off a lot of what these monsters can do. Like, the, like, yeah, like they, the destruction that they can cause and all that kind of stuff. And they do delve more into the animal aspect of them. Because in the original universe... You know these characters. They have, like, they have personalities in this. But they, but they are at the end of the day, they're animals. Some of them are. <laughs> yeah, and they um, they compare them to other animals. Yeah. Like they they use the pack analogy. Yeah. And they um, respond to an lot. alpha. And all the yeah, like basic animalistic traits they use quite a lot. Yeah. Um, and I like that. I, I did too. There like, were there were a few really really cheesy shots. I do like the um they used like 4K shaky cam. <laughs> like yeah. it was somebody holding a camera and fil- filming it in person. Yeah. Um so it's not like a like a like a handheld cam like Blair Witch style. It's not. It's yeah. like but movies w- there's moments in the movie where when monsters show up yeah. It does like shaky cam or like the review the when they they zoom in yeah and it it goes like like someone's zooming in on a camera or yeah something and like it shakes a little bit because they're they're trying to focus yeah uh, there there is a scene I'm not telling you when where <laughs> it does an extreme zoom on Godzilla's face <laughs> and it's just it's just it's, cheesy as it, shit it's so cheesy it's so bad it's something out of a very old Japanese like movie. it's it's supposed to be like this really serious moment and I lost it I was just like I, I heard like, you laugh sticking my fucking fist in my mouth to try and stop ruining the movie for everyone I just it's just such a such a cheesy shot I couldn't help it it's a good monster movie it's not a great like in in no way is Godzilla going to is going to win any awards. No, but um, then monster movies are never going to win an Oscar or something. Yeah, but it's definitely not going to win any awards for, like, writing or anything like that. Oh, well, maybe soundtrack. Maybe oh, soundtrack. Yeah, it had a pretty solid I do soundtrack. Like the, I do like the soundtrack in it, and I do like how, um, that the last, that they do, they, they do say at the end of it, well, they don't say it, they show it, pretty much, that there will be, that there will be a King Kong vs. Godzilla movie. Yeah, well, that was confirmed a little while ago, yeah, and then and when pretty, it wasn't this one, everyone was a bit yeah worried it wasn't going to happen. Um, which I am pretty sure, like they've, I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure, but fairly certain that they have finished production on King Kong vs Godzilla, and that I know that there was a, a from the director that there's a quote from the director who said that there will be a definite winner, which I am 
I you got to assume is going to be big. Godzilla. I'm, I'm, I'm putting my money on Kong. I, I think Kong would actually take him. Yeah. Kong for taking on a giant lizard. Yeah. I, I, I get that. Is it the, the T-Rex then from the, the other King yeah, Kong yeah. movie? Yeah. <laughs> um, my argument with that is that the stakes in this Godzilla movie were quite high. Like we, it's yeah. the strong, it's the strongest like titan we've seen to this point, and yeah. he like really struggled with it, and that just makes you think that like maybe if Kong wins, does it undo everything that's happened up to this point? No, no. If anything, like, doesn't it? Oh, uh, it just it just proves that Godzilla isn't the only alpha, and also you know, who knows? Maybe there's one more. Who knows? Maybe there's one more alpha like there's probably like a whole like in the movie they say that there's a bunch of these monsters uh 17 and counting I 17 believe, is and the, uh, counting. the quote yeah and that's not really a spoiler is it it's just a number no it's just the number <laughs> yeah it's also like in the first 20 minutes yeah true <laughs> um, i don't count anything that happens in the first 20 minutes as a also spoiler. they threw in the nice cliche of the uh, of the the guy of the expert who doesn't want to come back and is who says I'm not up to the challenge, but clearly is up to the challenge. Yeah, I mean that happens in everything. Like, that happens it's, in it's, everything. It's classic, like any sort of fantasy sci-fi movie. Yeah. The the grizzled expert goes, "Oh, I can't do this anymore," and then he comes back and he just wins everything. Yeah. Um, it's the Rambo effect. It is the Rambo effect, yeah. <laughs> uh, which we spoke about last week. Yeah, who is still as badass as ever. Yeah, I'm getting really, I'm really um, hooked on the song. The Old Town Road. Uh, yeah, it's, I'm hooked on I know, that song now. It shouldn't work. But it it shouldn't work, but it does. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't really have much more to add to Godzilla. I mean, if you're a big fan of uh, monster movies or but if you're a fan disaster of, movies, go and watch it. If you're it's, a fan of the of, of like the original universe, like you'll you'll be happy. Like it's a it's a very it's a movie for a very select audience. Yeah. Like it like they they're gonna make. I don't know if they're going to make their money back on this, but like... Oh, they've made their money back, oh, for sure. Yeah, they've made their money back. But like, it's definitely one of those movies that like you can go on a Friday up, like on a Friday night or something like that with a yeah. few friends and have a good time. Yeah, it's one of those movies that it won't make that much money here or America, but um, it like, will like probably... Japan and China, they it'll, love, that, yeah, love that stuff so much. It'll kill it over there. Um, so that'll go. Yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt, that'll make, make more than its money's worth. Yeah. Um... So, this morning or yesterday morning, there was an announcement um, for for a certain video game movie that we uh, oh, we we yeah, called. Yeah, 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 I'd yeah. like to point out called in the first episode of the Real Talk podcast. Did we? Yeah, we did. Um, oh, or okay. I did. Um, so, Uncharted the movie uh-huh. has got a release date. Uh, we don't know much outside of that. The release date is the eighth. 18th of December 2020. Yeah. Uh, there's only two other bits of information we know. We know that Tom Holland will be playing the legendary Nathan Drake. Yeah. Which, as a huge Uncharted fan, I kind of like. I like him as a, a young Nathan Drake. Hmm. I'm a little bit upset we didn't get like a late in his years Nathan Fillion as like a like an older version of Nathan Drake. Oh, sh- but that's fine. Like They can bring him into Sully and I won't throw a tantrum. <laughs> Who, um, Nathan Fillion? Yeah, 100%. Yeah. He could play literally anything he wants. He could play the love interest if he wanted to. <laughs> um, yeah, may- well, maybe not. Uh, maybe not. Um, the only other bit of information is that if the release date that they've said is actually true, it goes up against uh, Steven Spielberg and his rendition of West Side Story. No one's going to watch that. Mm. I'm not going to watch that. I... I remember my brother tried to show me the like the the West Side Story. It's on Netflix. He tried to show me. Like he showed me it. I watched ten minutes of it. I, all I could get past was them clicking in the street, <laughs> and I just I'm like I can't watch this. This is garbage. Uh, you're like, not you know, a I musical like, fan, are you? Well, I love musicals. I just don't like that musical. <laughs> well, you didn't really give it a chance. You only watched ten minutes. It was just yeah, it was lame. <laughs> it's cheesy. It was made in like the seventies. Yeah. Exactly. Well, there you go. Grease is better. Well, it's been remade, and uh, well, it's it, Steven Spielberg as well. The oh, guy clearly knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing, but he's he's going up against Uncharted. So sorry, Steven, but I'm watching Uncharted. Yeah, I'm sure there are way more video game fans who know what this specific video game is than people who like Steven Spielberg. <laughs> 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 uh, 
But like, um, do, how, how do you reckon it's going to go? Like from the track record we've had with look, we've had games. some really bad video game movies. Um, we've had, however, a run of maybe not fantastic but okay ones. Um, when I think of it, like, I like think of Detective okay. Pikachu gave that me really, hope. That 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 set the bar. Like they uh, said, like, I we mean, can do it properly. The video game movie that comes out closest to that, I think, is Sonic. So if it's going up against Sonic, I can guarantee it'll be the best video game movie that comes out there. <laughs> mm, true. Um, look, the story is there. Yeah. It's already got a cinematic feel. They don't have to adjust stuff. Yeah. As long as they get the character right, then yes, it'll be a good movie. Like, it basically already is a playable movie. Like they have, is it three or four? Four Uncharted movies and a spinoff. Like, uh, four Uncharted games and a spinoff. Yeah, they have five. They have five uh, games, so they have five stories to tell. Yeah, pick and one. I'm quite happy just, if they do... Um, just pick one. <laughs> like, they, there are other lost civilizations that they could do, and they could do a different story, as long as they get the characters right. Did they do the okay. Lost City of Atlantis? No, and that's why I think they're going to go with this. Oh, please do the Lost City of Atlantis. Because they've done... Well, they've done Shambhala, they've done El Dorado. Was El Dorado the first one? Was that the first one? El Dorado was the... Yeah. yeah. the first one. The Golden Man. The Golden Man. And then Shambhala was the second one. Yep. The third one was... Aram of the Pillars. I which is... Or yeah. Atlantis of the Sands is what it's most commonly known as. Really? If you're not really a fan of, like, lost and ancient cities, you're not really going to get it. And the fourth one was uh, Lupitalia. The, the home of the... Uh, the mythical, peaceful home of pirates. That they allegedly went and found a, an island and they, they built a colony there. Is that... Uh, just uh, just is, for pirates. Did they touch on that in Pirates of the Caribbean? Not really. They may have hinted at it a couple of times, but they don't really like go into like, the actual story yeah, true. of it. Um, so yeah, like they haven't done Atlantis. I would really like to see... I'd really, I would like to see that story. Um, if they, And I'm, I'm actually kind of okay with Tom Holland playing the part of it. Because originally there was talks that... Um, Tom Hiddleston? Is it Tom Hiddleston? Uh, Loki? Loki. Yeah. Yeah, who they... Uh, not a, I don't know if they ever were going to get him, but people were saying, like, oh, Tom Hiddleston could be playing Nathan Drake. No, I'm not a fan of that. Well, you, you say that, but he was in Kong, and he played a Nathan Drake sort of character. Yeah, no, I didn't bite... No, he no? just doesn't... Just, it doesn't, no. doesn't like, he's a great actor, don't get me wrong. I'm not dissing him. I just don't think he fits this character. Yeah, fair enough. Whereas, like, Tom Holland's working like, Spider-Man or, like, his other stuff. He was in that Lost City Z... Was he? Yeah. And, um... But he's... Just the way he carries himself, the way he acts is sort of that, that immature... Mm. Brash, but he can play the... The immature but intelligent character. Yeah. Like, uh... He's passionate, but he's silly. Like, he doesn't take things too seriously. But he also... He knows what he needs to do. Have and they... I think Tom Hiddleston... Not Tom... Now you've got me doing it. Tom Holland <laughs> would play that really, really well. Yeah. Yeah. Who have they got? They ha they haven't really decided on Sally yet, have they? Uh, no. There is um, they have attached, I think Brian Cranston's name to the project. Oh, so I would assume yes. it, he would be playing Sully, unless they've got him as a bad guy. I'm sold, Brian Cranston. <laughs> I'm sold. I mean, that's why I went to go see the first Godzilla movie was because of Brian Cranston, and they killed him off in ten minutes. So. Yeah, I was gonna say, but you're oh, disappointed. <laughs> Oh, everybody was. <laughs> yeah, that was just bad. That was outright lying in the marketing. <laughs> um, like his, like um, I'm gonna get de I'm, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna derail the podcast if I end up talking about that. Yeah, all good. All yeah. good. But yeah, so with, I'm pretty happy that Uncharted is coming. Yeah. I I hope that this announcement is a hundred percent accurate, and that it's not some some sort of bullshit to happen it, it does happen but you know it does happen like when news comes out it is our responsibility to report that um yeah I, it does seem real like I've read there's a fair few articles the IMDP page has gone up and Tom Hiddleston and uh, Tom Holland himself has come out and pretty much like tagged himself and all of the stuff yeah. so I'd say that's pretty fair to at the very least he's been cast yeah because there are a few other like video game movies that have been like sort of leaked or talked about a lot like, uh, like is it James Wan is doing a Mortal Kombat movie allegedly oh, yes. but that was it they just there was just Wait, like James a, Wan as in like the 
the guy who directed The Conjuring? Or am I thinking of someone else? No, I think it was him. Yeah. The, yeah. I'm uh, pretty sure it was him. Okay. But I, yeah, it I was, mean, um, yeah. so they, it, that was another sort of like, it was like a semi-leak possibly made up. Um, but it seems to, it's, it's got a lot of, um, momentum behind it now. Like a lot of people oh. are like fan casting, um, yeah. characters and stuff. Yeah, absolutely, man. Like, uh, there is a massive community behind the um, behind the Mortal Kombat universe. Because that was the other um, the other video game movie that uh, Nathan Fillion had been connected to. Oh, really? Yeah, they wanted a, a load of people had him pegged to play uh, Johnny Cage. An old Johnny Cage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, not old. Not seasoned. an old, but like yeah, like uh, like Mortal Kombat Eleven Johnny Cage, like yeah. a seasoned vet, but still like still fit. But then he'd have to learn how to fight. I mean. He. I mean, like he. Uh, it, I saw a little bit of him. I watched Firefly to an extent where I know what's going on, but I never saw him fight. I just saw him shoot people. Yeah, like he, it's not going to be that hard to get him in there or get a stun double to do it or whatever. Yeah, true. Like, I mean, no matter how you do Mortal Kombat, it's going to be cheesy. Like the games are cheesy. There's oh. no way to uncheese that level, and it's just going to be a, a. If they don't get an Australian to play Kano, then they're just missing the mark. Hugh Jackman. No, <laughs> God no. Yes. No. If yes. They make Hugh Jackman. He or you, you, you know he, he, you know he can do sideburns. Well, yeah, but oh, God, if they make him Kano, I'm not watching it. <laughs> if they make him Kano, I'm not watching it. As he if. just breaks out into a musical number. <laughs> oh, come on, he played Wolverine. You know he can do a hard ass. Yeah, I know. You're just upset because shit, he did game when he played, Shit, remember when he played you Wolverine? <laughs> yeah, exactly. That seems so long ago. I now. know, but he played Wolverine. He played. He's played a hard-ass violent character before. Right. You you just got the shits because he did Greatest Showman. I liked that movie until I actually read into the history of PT Barnum. And oh yeah, no, there's, it's like not they, factually correct. It doesn't make it not a good movie. Well, they kind of in that movie they did kind of touch on how mm. big of a douche he actually is. Yeah, no, they but they like, there's a lot of uh, artistic license, and I'm okay with that. Like, yeah, I don't go to the movie to watch fact like nobody watches a musical for fact i don't know there was a lot of facts in greece <laughs> was there i mean the car flew man i i'm just saying uh don't give me that look <laughs> i'll give you whatever look I'll, I'll have five minutes of silence on a podcast where i just stare at you until you die you know you can't do that don't do it don't i'm not gonna do it no stop it <laughs> all right fine take it back yeah, goddamn right. Yeah, I panicked. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I can't keep this up for five minutes. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, from video game movies to video games, uh, E3 is coming this week. Yeah, Tuesday, um, isn't it? Tuesday it starts. The yeah. 10th at 6am is the first, well, in Australia, that's the first um, the first conference. Yeah. Uh, I will be, uh, I believe... I'd be up to watch that. I will definitely be watching it on the day. There'll be an article about it that night. Yeah. And then I believe at the end of the week, we'll probably do a little uh, recorded chat yeah. about I that what a lot we of saw. People, I noticed that a lot of people... Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. That's all right. There's a lot of people making wish lists now. Yeah, uh, right after we did ours. Right after we did uh, ours. Tra- hashtag trendsetters. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so we... Um, we did a wish list, and then since then, quite a lot of stuff has been announced. Yeah. Um, quite a lot of stuff we called. Yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying. Go that, team, real talk. I mean, uh, I'm not saying that, you know, we're experts at this, but. But we are. But we are. <laughs> uh, so there's things like Cyberpunk. They'll, basically, said there'll be a bunch of stuff for that. Uh, Death Stranding, I think, is going to get a like a full on release date. Yeah. Uh, we got, already announced. There's uh the box art for. Star Wars Jedi Fallen yeah. Order, which looks amazing. It if does. you haven't seen it, go and look at it. In fact, I will post it on our Instagram yeah. right after recording. So if you're listening to this now, go to our Instagram and look at the poster. It's there. Yeah. Um, it just looks great. It does. Um, a lot of people are saying we're going to get the Harry Potter game that was leaked like last year, year before. I haven't seen um, the leaked footage of that game. Uh, it's, it's very grainy. It looks... But it, it, it's enough that it looks like it's a real game. Okay. Um, also, it was taken down by uh, Warner Brother Games. Oh, so I can't even um, watch it now? No. It was, so it was copyrighted and taken down by Warner Brothers Games, which pretty much confirmed it. Yeah. Uh, so we'll probably get an official announcement and a trailer for that. Cool. I would say. Um, Rocksteady said they're not going, so we're definitely not getting any Batman or Justice League announcements for games this year. But we are 
getting the Avengers game, which we've had a logo released for. Uh, Have we? Courtesy of Square Enix, yeah. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. (laughs) It was just the logo saying that we were getting an Avengers Square Enix game announced. Uh, So I imagine there'll be... It'll what? just be a CGI trailer for that. Yeah, I wonder what. That I believe will... they used the tagline "Avengers Reassemble." Ooh, um, so I'd say they're going to use um, the caricatures of um, like the actual Marvel yeah. Cinematic Universe characters. Yeah, would be good. Which means that this game may actually turn out to be the last performance of uh, Tony Stark as Iron Man. Oh yeah, true. Um, which I, I'm actually, I'm actually all for that. Yeah. Um, there was a few other things announced, like uh, Halo Infinite. We're definitely getting a Halo Infinite thing. I think we're all pretty much over that. Uh, Halo Gears of War Infinite. Five, which, to be honest, the announcement destroyed my day. Yeah, momentarily, I, mean, yeah, I was look, just like, yeah, I, I, I'm I so done with this franchise. I don't mind that they're making another one, but it gets to a point where it's like, where else can you take? It's this diminishing story? returns. Like the first three were perfect, and I feel like every game that comes out after that is ruining the franchise. Yeah. Like we're gonna get another Call of Duty. Like if there's more, like we know the, that's coming. Like if there's more of the story to tell, all for it. But if you're just making a, if you're just making a game for the sake of making money, then it feels like they're just making it because the franchise makes money. Now. Yeah, like they're just milking it for. Yeah, while. so I mean that's that it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So Call of Duty Modern Warfare, there'll be some stuff on that. Yeah. A uh, returning of some fan favorite characters. Uh, Price and Soap McTavish. Soap. Yeah, that's right. Everyone's favorite Call of Duty character, and the only good thing ever to come out of Scotland. What about Ghost? Is Ghost coming back? Uh, I don't know. Though the only characters they've announced were Price as the main character, and Soap McTavish shows up in the trailer. Um, So I'm pretty keen for that. And obviously there'll be uh, announcements for other stuff. I assume we'll get like a little bit of gameplay for uh, Borderlands Three because that comes out in September. Yeah. Um, played a little bit of Borderlands before we started the podcast for the first time. Never played it before. It's actually really fun. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll just we'll play a bit more probably after the podcast. Yeah. And um, <laughs> we're just going to get you warmed up because we are going to do a live stream of Borderlands Three when that comes out. Nice. Um, uh, at the moment, I think we've got all four characters. Yeah. Like played uh, people to do this, so that'll be uh, it'll be really exciting. It'll be our first real like full playthrough we're going to do. Yeah. So that's exciting. Mm. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of like information that's come out around E3 and yeah. like stuff like that, and it's it's a lot to come in. I can't remember it all. I didn't have space to write it all down either. <laughs> um, like, and, and on top of that, like it's E3, like everything is happening. Like there's all these movies coming out. It's a very busy month. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's summer in America, so we're getting all the summer blockbusters, and then we've yeah. got E3 coming up, and on top of that, we've. Uh, we're moving. We're moving. Um, in two weeks. Yeah. Uh, there won't be a podcast that week. Yeah. Uh, so the the twenty second, uh, when episode seventeen should come out, uh, there won't be a podcast. However, we have done a John Wick, uh, like discussion and breakdown. Discussion uh, like breakdown. Talk, just talking about our like favorite moments in the series and, and like a few sprinkles some of other like, things. Yeah, little little bits of like like some cinematic. Uh, choices they've made and like yeah. the ca- how the character works and stuff like that yeah um so that'll come out uh instead of the the podcast yeah um we'll try i mean there'll definitely be a podcast afterwards we may do like a little uh information blast just before the next uh the next week yeah just to tide you over with the all the things that have happened in the week mm. um yeah so that's a uh, that's cool uh, live streams. We are, we are doing live streams every week now. Uh, nice. We're trying to do it every Friday. Um, oh. There probably won't be one that week either because that Friday is actually moving day for us. <laughs> um, so we may. There'll probably be. You'll see some Instagram posts. We'll probably go live a couple of times. But whilst moving. Uh, whilst moving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. True. Um, just, just to you know, bring you into the the, yeah. the world of real talk. Yeah. Bring you into um. Into the real into the apartment. nightmare that is our lives. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, it's a, it's I love fun. how like the only things that we have at the moment for moving out is we have a plasma screen TV, yeah, and a fridge, and a fridge, two couches, and a few mattresses. 
We yeah. don't have a... We don't have an awful lot of stuff. We don't have an awful lot of uh, stuff. Despite, at this point, we don't have a couch. Despite that, we will still be at Supernova that weekend. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> we'll be there on the Saturday. Uh, obviously, you can message our Facebook or Instagram if you want to wanna catch up. Yeah. Uh, we'll be more than happy to meet people. If you can recognize our voices, I don't know, we'll buy you a beer or something. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> we won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> After I said it, I'm like, probably not going to do it. I'll, I, I don't know, I'll say hi to you. <laughs> no, I'll give you a crisp high five. I'll give you a crisp high five. <laughs> uh, yeah, so there's not that much news this week. Um, we will be seeing all well, this week we've got. We still need to see Dark Phoenix. Yeah, we haven't seen Dark Phoenix yet. Uh, we will. Yeah. Uh, a review will be out Monday. Yeah. Uh, so there's not that much. Uh, we're mainly just bracing ourselves for the huge E3 weekend. Yeah. So Monday, uh, Dark Phoenix review will come out. Tuesday, there'll be an article about what our um, favorite things at the Microsoft and Bethesda uh, E3 conferences are. Mm. And then after that, it's all just E3 information uh, coming in waves of pure panic <laughs> on on account of my part and probably Big Fudges yeah. um, so there's only one major movie released this week which is X-Men which from the pre-reviews we've seen I uh, have not from been. everything that we've seen X-Men Dark Phoenix has it hasn't been doing good it, it does sound like that they've really phoned well, this we one wa- in. we watched the trailer um, bef- it, the trailer was on before Godzilla, Godzilla. yesterday and it basically covers the entire plot yeah, in like three I, minutes, and like I could not watch the movie and tell you exactly what it like what happens at what point, yeah. um, which is mildly upsetting. We'll still see it, and we'll we'll still review it um, yeah. objectively. Yeah, like if I don't know, but everything that I've read and everything that I've seen so far has told me that it just isn't a good movie. <laughs> Like even the direct, like the directors, the producers, they all just kind of said, "Let's just get this over and done with." <laughs> yeah, it's a bit like that. Yeah, um, which regardless, sucks. which sucks. Yeah, it does suck because yeah. I'm a big X Men comic fan. I and... wasn't really a big X Men comic fan. Well, talking about you, <laughs> no, I'm, it's just it's just upsetting that this is this is happening to a good franchise. Hopefully, that means that it'll be uh, rebooted in the near future as part of the MCU. Yeah. They'll start to bring some characters across. That's fine. Um. Well, it's not a lot more to talk about. Mm. Uh, so our movie of the week this week is uh, the original X Men movie. Yeah. Uh, go back and see where it began because it still it holds up. It's a bit cheesy, but then that's what superhero movies were back in the two thousands. Yeah, it was early two thousands. What do you expect? Um. So, go and watch that. Um. For those of you who are awaiting E three conferences and stuff, um, Microsoft is six a.m. on Tuesday the tenth of June, which is this coming Tuesday. Uh, Bethesda is the same day at 10.30am. Yep. Uh, the Wednesday the 11th, you've got Ubisoft at 6am and then Square Enix at 11am. Yep. And then Wednesday, uh, the only major conference that is happening that Wednesday is Nintendo at 2 o'clock in the morning. Cool. Um, so if you want to get up at 2 in the morning, I probably will have to, uh, just I mean, to I'm get all the, st- all, the all the stuff done. Um, so that's fine. Uh, and I'm probably going to be watching it while I'm at work. <laughs> I believe that Thursday this week is also the release of Tolkien, the movie about J.R.R. Tolkien's life. So we're we're going to get on that. Um, we may break the uh, the I'm review cycle. I want to try and get. A, I'll try and get a review out as soon as humanly possible. Yeah, true. Um, with that being said, a nice short uh, podcast today yeah. as we prepare for the incoming E three destruction <laughs> of my soul and will to live. How long has it been since we've done an hour long podcast? Uh, well, since like the early episodes. The it? really early episodes. Oh, I think a couple of episodes ago there was a there was a well, fifty four minute one. Yeah, we get to like the 45, 50 minute mark. But um, at this point, like, yeah, we, we, we get through it fairly quickly. Yeah, there's not been a lot of, like, major information. I think because we're getting lots of movie releases now. Yeah. So that nothing is being announced. So given this, we'll get, like, a bunch of movies released over the next three weeks. And obviously E3 and the move and Supernova and all that stuff. Yeah. And then we'll start getting bombarded with information again. Yeah. Uh, which is fine. I'll love that. Because yeah. that's... You know, the more information they release, the more content we create, the more we can give to you guys at home. Yes. Um, so, 
having said that, we'll leave it there. Yeah. Uh, as always, you can follow me at Twitter on at Review by Lurch. <laughs> you can follow uh, me on Twitter as well at Jared one I really need to change that. It's not creative that's fine at least people know who you yeah, are at least people know who i am uh we're name. obviously we're on instagram at real talk underscore pop culture discussions yep. we are on facebook at real talk pop culture discussions look for our logo we're on youtube as well uh, we are on youtube and soundcloud uh, i assume you're on one of those listening to this podcast right now if you like watching gameplay and uh, funny commentary we're on twitch.tv it's not dot com i make that mistake every single time even when i go onto my laptop and i search for our stuff mm-hmm. it's twitch.tv and we are real talk pcd gaming uh, again, look for the logo mm-hmm. and all of that stuff. If you miss the live streams, which are usually a Friday afternoon, yeah. which I understand most people are at work, they do all get uploaded to YouTube yeah. uh, later on. So watch that there. So just go and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yeah. Hit the bell icon to get notifications. Yeah. And then when we throw stuff on there, you'll get a notification that says something along the lines of, uh, we played Overcooked, Jared sucked. <laughs> um, so I think we played... We played a little bit of Overcooked this week, and yeah. we also played Sonic Mania, which was so bad we turned yeah, it off Sonic after, Mania I think, like 12 tr- minutes. Oh, Sonic Mania is trash. It is so trash. Um, so I, sorry, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, that movie's like, that game's five years old. If so. that's what the game's like, I can only imagine what the movie's going to be like. Yeah, well, I'm still traumatized by the trailer, so that's fine. <laughs> um, so, that's it. Uh, we're thankful for you joining us for 15 episodes. Uh, if you're new, Can we're I thankful for you joining the 15th episode I've um, it's been 15 episodes I uh, know it's just it's gone so quickly I know it's emotional it's yeah. like watching a child grow and despising it <laughs> 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 and on that somber note as always guys keep it real keep it real guys stay sexy <laughs>